What's up guys? Welcome back to Surveying with Robert. So um, if you were following my Instagram and my Facebook page, Surveying with Robert, uh, this past week you saw a picture of this TDC 600. So I was going to kind of go over this thing a little bit with you guys um, as a possibility for a data collector. So uh, you can put access on it. So it's pretty cool. So first things first. Okay guys, so uh, TDC 600. So I know I, I know when these things first come out for sure, um, there were some huge complaints about the size and everything of this uh, data collector. Now to me, this data collector is the bomb. I love this thing. I love the keyboard. I uh, love the size of it. I mean, you guys complain about the weight, the size, hanging on brush, blah, blah, blah. I've heard all kinds of stories about it. Uh, I think most of you that have used this have fallen in love with it. Uh, like me, um, the Windows 10 operating system is phenomenal as far as I'm concerned. Um, but enough about that, because <clears throat> a lot of you guys going out and surveying out in the woods, you want something small that you can stick in your pocket. And I get it, right? Because for years and years and years, I used to stick this in my back pocket. And I hope most of you are still doing that because this is still an extremely valuable tool for us old folks. So, um... This thing uses, uh, I think it's like a USB-C connection. Not exactly sure what that is, but maybe that's what that is. Um, so um, to charge this and also to transfer information. So I was really concerned about this at first because for those of you that remember this, T41 or Slate, as it was called, Windows operating system on it. These things were... Man, there was problems with the batteries on these things. There was, uh, I had one guy that you could just squeeze the side of this thing and it would change the menu. Um, I saw all kinds of problems with these. I mean, these just didn't turn out to be as great as we thought they were. Uh, it was nice, though, being able to stick this in your back pocket, you know, when you're running through the woods, GPS and stuff. So that, that was kind of cool. But, man, it turned out to be a pile of junk. In my opinion, my personal opinion anyways, so this thing looks promising. This has an Android operating system. I'm glad they got away from Windows operating system on this to an Android operating system. I'm not an Android guy. I mean, I have an iPhone um, and I use Windows on my PC, right? So, um, but this definitely looks promising. I'm, I'm really kind of interested to see how this works. Um, one problem I had with this thing that I don't understand, and maybe it was my lack of experience with it, could have been, uh, but I had a hard time Bluetooth the Mar 12 with this thing. Um, it just seemed like it wanted to fight me. It kept wanting to tell me it wouldn't pair. And I don't know if it was me or if it was this actual device that was giving me problems. Once I got it paired, I mean, it seemed to connect it fine. I didn't have any issues at all. Boy, getting it to where it would pair was kind of a booger. So... Anyways, um, so this has Trimble Access on it. If I go and open up Access, you can see here it has, um, you know, there's a job. If I want to do a new job, there's a new job creation there. Uh, if I open up that job, uh, it looks like I'm in the Bluetooth. So if I was to go to, um, like, Measure, there's my survey styles and stuff. Um, I mean, it's, it all looks the same, right? The, um, I think the thing that, um, that I saw that was interesting was, um, like going to, uh, like to the map. So <clears throat> this is, works a lot like a TSC three. Um, you have a map screen or you have the screen with your um, your information on it, right? So it, that's what I love about TSC7 is because on one side of it, I've got all my information, like my, my measure points or whatever, right? And then I have my map. So I love that part of it, uh, using DXF and background maps and stuff. I know you guys have seen some of those videos. Um, 
So this thing's pretty cool. I mean, it has the orbit button on it, just like um, the TSC-7 does and everything. So, um, I mean, it, it's got the look and the feel of the um, um, Windows Access. So it's pretty cool. Like I said, with that small screen, that kind of makes it a little bit difficult. Um, um, that's interesting. I turn it sideways, hmm, and I can actually have the whole map. So I haven't played with this thing a whole lot, so um, I'm actually going to do some stuff with it this afternoon. But I just want to kind of put something out to, to kind of talk about it a little bit. Um, <clears throat> things that I'm not sure of uh, that maybe we could go check out together here real quick is if I go to Instrument and Position, I don't know that it actually has a GPS. Yeah, I guess it does. It says SV0. I, I don't know. I'd be interested to see if... I'm pretty sure this has got GPS in it. But I'm inside of this office with this metal roof, so um, that's probably why I'm not seeing anything there. So, um, one of the cool features about this that I liked was if I go back out and I downloaded an app, I just got to figure out where it's at. Where did I put it at? That would be the big question. Um, because like I said, I'm not real familiar with this thing as of yet. There it is. So TeamViewer can actually go on here. So if I go to TeamViewer and I go to my computer and let's see here. I go to TeamViewer on my computer. I can choose that TDC 600. It tells me it's ready to connect. And if I say connect... It's going to pop up, allow remote support, allow. So, um, it's apparently, I have business version of TeamViewer, but apparently there's a mobile version license you have to purchase as well. So, um, but, pretty dang cool, as you can see, I can go in here and um, I can operate this thing. Just like, um, just like I can in TSC seven, so uh, I'm kind of excited about that because uh, I was a little concerned. I was like, man, I don't know if I want my customers to have this thing because of um, not being able to use TeamViewer because I've gotten spooled with these TSC sevens and T sevens and stuff like that with this Windows based operating system, being able to connect up and fix problems and stuff like that. So this thing is uh, is pretty interesting. I got a little bit more stuff I want to do with it. Um, you know, as far as, uh, a little bit more I want to learn about it before I do too much of a, hey, looky there. Oh, no, that is cool. So that means when I'm using it out in the field, I turn it sideways and I have the map screen and I have, ho, ho, ho. well, now then, that's a game changer. I kind of liking this thing. So you turn it sideways and um, I can see the, uh, it means I'll be able to see my shots on the right-hand side and see the map on the left-hand side. Uh, boys, this thing, you have, um, I think I wrote it down over here, $1,500 for the TDC 600, and it's uh, another $2,500 for Trimble Access. I don't know if there's anything else. I don't know about the battery life yet. Uh, there's things that I'm working on um, that um, that we will, maybe I'll do another review on it, kind of give you guys a heads up. But uh, that, my friends, is pretty cool. I'm kind of excited about that. So um, it's a smaller version, right, of the, let's see here. Oh, can you see it? It's a smaller version of the TSC-7, right? So that's pretty cool. The only thing that might... Um, is kind of a, a little bit of a downer, in my opinion, is that to work with your robot, you're going to need this. <sighs> you already have to charge this. Now you're going to have to charge this as well. If one of these dies, you're down for the day, unless you plug it into your truck and give it a boost. So this is a 2.4 gigahertz radio that you can use with... Um, a data collector that does not have a built-in radio to it. So if you had a TSC-3, didn't have a radio built-in, you didn't want to send it off to Trimble to get it 
a radio put in it, you could use one of these right here and um, connect up your um, your radio to it. I mean, your uh, robot to it. Um, <clears throat> but there again, like I said, you got two pieces here. You got a Bluetooth connection between these two. I already had a little bit of problem connect up the R12 on this. So um, I'm going to test this out and see what how well this works so and i'm gonna play with this a little bit more so we can figure it out but um like i said kind of excited team viewer um as you can see here on the screen i've got team viewer going on my computer and um that's working pretty good right now i'm running wi-fi i haven't got a chance to stop by and get a sim card for this thing yet um trimble sent this to me to kind of review and play with it a little bit uh, so we will find out more for sure um I've actually got some customers that I'm going to uh, let use this this week while well, I've got some meetings going on. Um, so <clears throat> you can use Esri for you GIS guys. Now I almost hate to say GIS, right? Because the surveyors are GIS, you know. But I gotta admit, man, it's getting closer and closer every day. Uh, every time I turn around, there's something more with surveying and GIS. But you can use Esri Collector on this. It has Android. So the customer that I'm actually going to let use this. Um, I've got something, which brings me to another point. I've got something really interesting I'm going to show you guys here before long. And it's going cell phone based to rover with your R12s or R10s or R8s or whatever. I'm working on something for you guys. But I've got this customer set up. I have a SIM card in the R12 and using this um, particular service that I play around with, I'm able to, um, to go cell phone based to rover uh, with the R12s. So what I'm doing is I'm having him start the base with access with this data collector, and then he's going to jump into, um, what's it called? Mobile, mobile, mobile something. Um, Trimble, Trimble Mobile, yeah. So Trimble, Trimble Mobile Manager, I think that's what it's called. So he's gonna start Trimble Mobile Manager, and um, when he does that, it's gonna connect up to the R12. And then he can use Esri Collector um, with this thing as well. So you could use Access on one side, and on the flip side, you could use Esri Collector uh, to um, to do some GIS work, GIS collection stuff. There's a lot of people I know right now that are doing that. So um, that is pretty cool. You can see I saw it up here a minute ago. There's Collector right there. So um, maybe I'll do a video showing you guys how to hook all that up. Who knows? But and then having, um, being able to use uh, TeamViewer on here is pretty interesting. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to uh, to show you. I mean, I know most of us are used to this being in our back pocket, right? So we could put this in our back pocket. It's actually smaller. So <clears throat> hopefully you guys are still using that. I use them, but I'm old. Anyways. <laughs> So, guys, hope you enjoyed this. I wanted to get this out this morning. Uh, I did want to um, mention one thing real quick. Hang on. Okay, so Matthew with um, safetyapparel.us sent me these vests. Now, I did a little deal on Instagram about them, but I'm telling you what, these have got to be the best vest I think I've ever seen. Um, this one is a little bit lighter than this one. Uh, I'm curious to see if I have any issues with this reflective material with the with the robot in passive mode. Uh, I don't know if it's reflective enough to catch that robot. So, um, man, these things are really cool. If you haven't um, seen them yet, go to um, safetyapparel.us. Go to their website and look. Uh, I believe you can order them on there. I'm going to try to maybe give a few of these away. And I was looking on here at some different ways to put Surveying with Robert on it. So I'm going to put Surveying with Robert on a couple of them. I'm going to give them away to you guys. What do you think about that? So anyways, just something cool. Uh, Matthew also sent me this hat. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. Uh, great guy. Um, surveyor. And um, he um, he saw the need. I've never had a, a really good vest because um, they never I never found a vest that actually worked for me for surveying. That vest, I believe, will do the trick. 
So uh, I've done everything from wear a tool belt to, you know, just trying to buy different vests that just have a couple of pockets in it and that's it. Those things have pockets on them everywhere. So anyways, guys, <clears throat> thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Um, did I mention it's about four grand with Trimble Access on it? Got some possibilities. Charger, you can charge it in the truck. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. So anyways, guys, appreciate you watching. God bless. Love you guys. Take care. Try to stay healthy uh, with all this craziness going on. Um, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.